Hello Formers, this is Mahesh and in this video I will be sharing with you how you can apply coded mixed boundary condition in open form. So to use coded mixed boundary condition I will copy a tutorial case from Laplace in form. Let me do it. First let me dive into the run folder and let me copy the tutorial case from the Laplace in form. In form tutorials, we will find that in basic Laplacian form flange, and we will copy this case has a uh, say coded mixed. Let me move to this coded mixed folder. Okay, we don't require this flange and uh, the script files. Let me remove it. Okay, let me see what is there in each folder. Okay, we are missing block mastict. So we will copy this block mastict from the cavity case. Thing incompressible like of in cavity system and we will copy this block mastict into our system folder. So let's edit this block mastic file first. Okay, let it be. We will increase the cell count to 50 in x direction and in y direction. And we will rename this moving wall as uh, let's say coded patch. And this fixed walls as uh, since it's uh, it contains left right and bottom wall okay left right and bottom patch that's all we will do in this coded in this block mystic let me create the mesh using block mesh okay let me view the mesh Okay, so we will be applying our coded mixed boundary boundary condition to this patch, this coded patch. Let me see the mesh. It looks fine. Create the terminal. Okay, let me open the T file. Okay, first we need to edit the names. This coded patch and let me remove this and this is front and back so this is your left right and bottom patch and since we are not solving any equation in the z direction so let's hit empty okay so we are initializing our domain with 273 kelvin as well as our left right and uh, bottom patches with 273 kelvin and we will be applying a coded mixed boundary condition to this coded patch so to use coded mixed boundary condition i will be taking help from doxygen so let me open it. Let me search for coded next. Okay. Okay, here they have given a uh, usage of this coded mixed boundary condition. Let me copy this and paste it over here. Okay, since it's a scalar quantity, we just move this. Okay, 
and we will rename this boundary condition as uh, coded touch pc and we will remove this code and we will be doing it from scratch okay first i need to explain how this uh, you know patch value is calculated in open form okay so your patch value will basically depend on three factors one is uh, the value fraction and your reference value and your reference gradient so let's say if your value fraction is equal to one then this term will drop out and you will be applying a fixed value boundary condition and if your value fraction is equal to zero then it will basically become a fixed gradient boundary condition so in this tutorial what we will be doing is we will be simulating the case for two seconds for one second we will be applying a fixed value boundary condition and for the remaining second we will be applying a zero gradient boundary condition so to make a fixed gradient as a zero gradient boundary condition we will uh, set this reference grad value to zero so that it will become uh, you know zero zero gradient boundary condition okay so these are just default values uh, and anyway we are going to override these values for that first we need to access time because uh, as i told you we you know for one second we will be doing something and for the remaining one second we will be doing something so first we need to access the time so to do, to do that let me define a, a constant scalar you now which holds the value of time but how do we access the time let me go here okay so we are in this class so if you have the object of this class you can access all the all this you know public member functions which are declared here but if you see we will not find a time here so if we since you know this class got inherited from this class whatever the functions that are declared as public even these functions can be accessed uh, from the object of uh, you know this uh, coded mixed since you know even here we can't find the fi uh, time so again this class got inherited from this class so we can access the functions which are declared in this class also so here we, we, we find this db which uh, stands for database i guess and you know once you apply this method oh, okay let me apply this so we will use this this pointer so basically this pointer will you know hold you hold the address of your current object so since it's a pointer we need to dereference and access the content right so there are two ways to do that first either you dereference D reference and you access with this dot operator or else we can do it in this way also so I will prefer this way and uh, now let me apply this method DB so once you apply this method to this uh, this pointer it will return an object registry object I mean it will return an object of this class object registry so once you are in this class object registry so you can access all these methods here you will find the time and it is returning the time actually so let me do that want to have this time i want to and uh, i need the value of time let me apply this value method and uh, you know to make it uh, to make our boundary condition little more interesting uh, what we will be doing is uh, even though even though we are applying a fixed value boundary condition one for one second we will have a time varying fixed value boundary condition so to do that uh, okay let me first define the function which we want to you know which we want to code in code for fixed value let me open the gnu plot Okay, let me plot this sine of x. Okay, now since uh, 
our domain as well as uh, the remaining boundaries are at 273 Kelvin. Let me shift this. Plot 273 plus and we will add an amplitude of uh, let's say 100 Kelvin times your sine of uh, x. Okay. Okay, let me do this and we will set the X range. Let's say from 0 to say pi over 2. Let me replot it. Okay, so we will be coding this function. So when your time t equal to 0, you will have a value of 273 Kelvin and when your time becomes uh, pi by 2, you will have a value of uh, 373 Kelvin. So let me close this, don't require this terminal, okay. And we are in this class, I guess, okay. So first we need to access the pi value. Let's assume that you don't know how to access the pi value. Just type pi and you will find some options and you will find it here. So it is actually declared in this uh, uh, form namespace. So let me get the value of pi constant scalar pi would be equal to since it is declared in a this form namespace, we can actually directly access it. Constant mathematical, and we want the pi value. And uh, since we want to do something for one second, we need to have this statements. If my time is less than or equal to one second, I want to do something or else I want to do something okay now, as I told you we need to you know override these variables uh, fixed value fixed gradient and value fraction so again we will be using this pointer for that and uh, you know we need these methods right we to override these variables so let me do it okay let me go into this class so we have this method reference value and reference gradient and this value fraction so with these methods we will override the you know we will override these values and you know since we want to apply a fixed value type of boundary condition for one second so our value fraction should be so our value fraction should be equal to one because we want to eliminate this term so we will apply this method since it's a method we need to add this parent parent and we want to set it to 1 and we want to set this a reference value as uh, 273 plus 100 times the sine of it's pi by 2 right 0 0.2 times pi into this time t so when your time t becomes 1 so you will have this pi by 2 value so your boundary condition will basically become a 373 kelvin and we want to set we have to set this reference grad it doesn't matter what value you give because anyway we are not going to use it Let's just set it to 0 let me copy this and for the remaining time you now when this condition fails it will enter into this this block 
so that in that case we want to apply zero gradient so our value fraction should be zero because we want to use this uh, you no know, fixed gradient and to you know and to make uh, this fixed gradient as a zero gradient we need to uh, set this reference grad value to zero we already did this that's all i think we need to do let me save this file and uh, before compiling it let me see the other files also constant transport properties okay we will reduce this diffusion coefficient by a factor of 10 and we will open this all the files which are there in system let me we don't require we don't need to change anything in block my stick when it comes to control dict we want to simulate it for two seconds and we want to start our simulation from start time and we want to write the data after every 0 0.05 seconds that's all we need to do in the control dict let me close it and in the fe schemes Euler, okay since our mesh is uh, it's orthogonal change it to orthogonal need to do same thing here also save it and exit and in the fe solution since our mesh is orthogonal we don't need to specify this uh, characters let me set it to zero we will close this and uh, let me call the solver laplace info hope it should work it's throwing me some error patch field entry for left right boundary okay it should be patch right think it is in think we made a mistake in e file I guess sorry not in t file in in this uh, block my stick system block my stick actually it has to be patch okay let me uh, recreate the mesh create the terminal block mesh okay i hope this time it should work it's compiling okay so it ran let me post process terraform i don't want this zero time temperature okay let me rescale the data to every time step so that we will be knowing uh, what's the maximum and minimum values that we have in our simulation okay here you can see the maximum value is uh, around 370 so it's actually 373 so let me run let me post post it okay Okay, see, see for one second, see up to one second we have this fixed value boundary condition and once we cross this, so it started becoming this uh, zero gradient, I mean which uh, essentially means uh, whatever the value you have at your cell center will be just extrapolated onto the face. So you can see it's zero gradient. So for the remaining time it's zero gradient. So that's all for this video.